You got a child? Yes, sir. How old is your child? He's B3 on Tuesday. B3? Okay. So how, how is that stopping you from getting together with some brothers? Well, it's not stopping me at all. Okay. It's, it's more so of uh, I work every day, single okay. day, every, every single day. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of hard to be able to do what I want to do versus to what he needs. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I what you said. I'm, I'm the only person. So it's just, so you basically taking care of yourself by yourself. All uh, praise. That's that's how. I, that's what's up. But see, you can't do this alone. You understand? You need brothers around you. You understand? Give me that in uh, Sirach 37 and 11. Right? Cause we we because as men, you know, we've been conditioned to think we got to do everything by ourselves. But when you got righteous men around you, you ain't never got to do go through nothing alone, bro. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? Wherever you lack it, you got another brother there to assist you in the area. Right. The same way, vice versa. The scriptures say two is better than one. Because when one falls, the other one there to lift them up. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then your son will have more men around him, more examples of men around him. You understand that that can help raise him up to become the man he's supposed to be. That's right. Because you don't see that out here. There ain't too many brothers you can be around that's good examples for your son. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 37 verse 11. Uh -huh. Neither consult with a woman touching her. Oh, 37 and 12. 37 and 12. My bad. Verse 12. But be, but be contending with a godly man uh -huh. whom thou, thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. So we got to be continually around godly men who you know that's keeping the commandments of the Lord. That's right. So let me ask both of y'all, what's your name, sister? Kena. Kena. Cornelius. Kena is your daughter. What's her name? Shekai. All right. Shekai. Yeah. I'm sorry. How y'all doing? So let me ask you a question. How many godly men you know that are keeping the commandments of God. All my brothers around me. All your brothers, they keep the commandments of God. You say you know too. So, how many of them go to church? Me and my brother go to church. Okay, give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. So we don't, we don't, see, because, and this ain't to not nobody, but we want to compare the things that we say and believe to what the Bible says, right? So let me show you something. This brother, he already know. That's why he laughed, because he already know one for He know he is like. So the, the next thing you got to do is come congregate. You got to congregate, my brother, because it's a sin not to. You understand what I'm saying? And we're going we gonna to go through all of it. But watch this. Exodus 28. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor. So when is the Sabbath day, my sister? You said Kena, right? Kena. Kena. Read. Watch this. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. What's the seventh day of the week? Wait, mm. Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday. What's the seventh day? But wait, I'm trying to see where y'all go. Hold on. I'm kind of lost. I got you. We finna, we finna. It's all gonna come together. I promise you. Well, what's the, no, no, no. What's the Friday? first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Monday, How many Monday, days in the week? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. That's the Sabbath day, sis. Okay. Right? So read it again. But the Sabbath day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Hey, look, this ain't to knock your brothers or nothing like that. Because we all been talking about. We all got our own beliefs, but come on. Well, we're going to see what the Bible says. Watch it. Read it again. But the Sabbath day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt. Not do any work. So on Saturday, the Sabbath day, this is a commandment. This is the Ten Commandments. Right? We not supposed to be working. Right? Now, nor thy son. No, your kids ain't supposed to be working because a lot of parents, I know my mama was like, Saturday, everybody getting up and, and cleaning something up. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, am I lying? <laughs> right. So that's how it was in the, in the black household. Everybody getting up, cleaning something up. That was just what it was, but the Bible said, your kids ain't supposed to be working on the Sabbath day. Read, nor thy daughters, uh -huh. nor thy maid, maid servants. So if you got, let's like in today's times, if you own a business, that business ain't supposed to be open on, on the Sabbath day, you ain't supposed to have nobody in there working. 
Right? Read. Nor right? no, are they maids, sir. Uh -huh. Nor are they tellers. Right? Right? Nor are they strangers. Right? That is within that gate. Now give me Nehemiah chapter uh, 10 and 31. Because we're going to get some more laws on the Sabbath day. Because you don't know. My brother know. You understand? But you don't know. It don't, it don't matter how much we know, we still gonna continue to learn. Every day. Don't none of us know it all. But what we do know, we gotta apply it. Right. You understand? Because we got an answer for that. That's our responsibility. I got you. Watch this. Read. Nehemiah exactly. chapter 10 to verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring what? Or any fiddle. So the people of the land, the people that own food, food, crown, food, what? Uh Hollywood beauty, so on and so forth, right? If they bring what? Any what? Bring what? Or any fiddle? Any fiddles that's food, things like that, right? Read. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day, Saturday. Right? Read. To sell. To do what? To sell. To do what? To sell. Read. That we would not buy it of, of, of them on the Sabbath. So we ain't supposed to be shopping on the Sabbath day either. That's right. Right? Give me that in Exodus 16. Exodus 16, 23. 23. You already know. So it's commandments that come, or statutes that come with the commandments of keeping the Sabbath day. That's right. But they not teaching this in church. We been going to church our whole lives and ain't never learned the statutes that come with this commandment. Uh, right? Uh, Watch this. Read Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Uh -huh. And he said unto them that, that this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So at this time, it's, it's the day before the Sabbath, right? Read unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which you will bake today. Right. And see that you will see, and that which remaineth lay up for you to be kept until the morning. You see, you read that? So it said you're supposed to bake or see, meaning boil, or basically cook everything the day before the Sabbath and lay it up for the next day. So that means we ain't supposed to be cooking on the Sabbath either. Right. right? So you can make this dishes you can make that you can eat left over. You can make sandwiches. You can eat cereal. Everybody's so conditioned. We exactly we condition to these the to, to are we setting our ways. You understand? You know that's why a lot of the a lot of the um the whole um older generation of the Israelites when we left out of Egypt, they didn't even make it into the promised land because they was too set in their ways. Right. They was too set in the ways that uh, Egypt taught them. And it's the same way today in spiritual Egypt. We too set in the ways that America has taught us. You understand? So that's why a lot of our people ain't going to make it because they going to lean more on what we've been taught here in America than what the Bible says. Right? Give me Acts chapter 13. Let's see if, because I already know you're going to go back to church, pastor going to say, Oh, well, Christ came and died and rose. We ain't got to do that no more. Exodus 31 first, bro. Okay, let's get Exodus 31. 31 and 16. Let's get that. Exodus 31 and 16. Right? Watch this. Read it. Exodus chapter 31 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. So we got to get, we got to do this throughout our generations. Right? So as long as we still generate, we got to keep the Sabbath, right? Watch this, read. For a perpetual covenant. A perpetual covenant. This is a perpetual covenant that we have with God, meaning it never ends. That's right. It continues. It's ongoing throughout our generations. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. See that? Read that, read that part again. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Forever. It's a sign between us and God forever. So we got to uphold that. We got to honor that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Give me Acts 13. Acts 13. 13 and 13. Watch this. Read. The 13 verse 13. Now when Paul and his company right. loose from Pe Pepos, right. they came to Perga in Pamphylia. Uh -huh. And John departed from them and returned to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On what day? On the Sabbath day. So Paul was keeping the Sabbath day along with his company, along with the rest of the children of Israel. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? So this never stopped. But what happened uh, is the Catholic Church, and they just admitted this, what, like a year ago? Only they admitted this publicly that they the ones who changed the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. The Catholic Church did that. My God. 
You understand? So up until the Catholic Church came and did that, we was keeping the Sabbath day. We wasn't going to church on Sunday. But the Catholic Church came and said, nah, everybody's going to go to church on Sunday. And that's what happened worldwide. Right? Let me show you something. Give me uh, Hosea chapter 3 and the last uh, 3 and 4. Hosea chapter 3 and 4. It might be 5. I'm going to show you something, sis, because... Oh, what I did. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. Because what we teach it is our identity. You understand? We have an identity. We have a nationality. We are a nation of people. But we was disconnected from that through slavery, through indoctrination, through philosophy and vain deceit. Now today, our people don't even consider it. Our people, it, 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 don't, it don't even matter to our people what our nationality is. It's not even important to us no more. But the Bible says it is. Watch this. Read. Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Because the, the controversy in the earth is what's, what is this Israelite stuff? This Israelite movement. You understand what I'm saying? Because we everybody been going to church for so long, it's, it's, it's foreign to them. You understand what I'm saying? But let's get Bible prophecy because if the pastors was reading the Bible, it wouldn't be no confusion why you see black men in purple with Israel united in Christ on their shirt. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, uh -huh. and without a prince, Free? and without a sacrifice, uh -huh. and without an image. So we, uh, it said the children of Israel are going to go a long time without an identity. You see what I'm saying? Who, what people on the earth are suffering an identity crisis? It's us. We the only ones that don't know who we are. We the only ones that don't know where we came from. You understand? We don't know our nationality or our heritage prior to slavery. We don't know. Because we went so long without an identity. Nobody else is going through those conditions. <laughs> Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!